Hello, today we're going to be making some vegan cheese. So today we're doing a mozzarella cheese. Okay, I'm gonna bring that, put that on a low heat for right now because I don't know where this is gonna go. But this is two cups of, mil of oat milk. Uh, next up we have um, the, this is two tablespoons of the nutritional yeast. Uh, oh, a quarter cup of warm water. Um, this is, I'm using this for flavoring, but it's an Al Alfredo sauce mix that I have from Cambrook. So, uh, that. It's a powder sauce. Um, it, you can, it, normally they will use those in this stability Alfredo also and other things too. Currently, according to what I'm learning from Lynn who runs Hambrook, um, it is currently um, only available in, if, right now I can only find it in, um, in um, in Canada, uh, oddly enough, and the, um, it, it is medical food, by the way, um, so that does have to be medically prescribed, and, uh, currently we are looking for a new supplier, or they're actually not looking for a new supplier, but they found somebody and are trying to get it out again. Um, and I have, this is some garlic powder. It's a tablespoon, a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's actually half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm gonna stir this up and just wait until it gets boiling. And as the old adage goes, watch pots don't boil we do want to boil it we do want to stir this frequently though um but that being oh and i'm forgetting about the agar agar so this is four teas uh, four teaspoons of the agar agar that i'm stirring in that is a very important part of this it will not stretch it um, in order to get that to stick together it's Agar agar is kind of like a gelatin um, that holds stuff together. It's a vegan gelatin replacement. Um, I have used it as an egg replacer also in, an, in a form that I did. Um, but do something separately is I'm going to mix up some cold water and some tapioca starch, otherwise known as tapioca flour. They are, you can find it in the baking aisle. Uh, made by Bob's Red Mill is the one I found. Uh, that. That's the package. If you can't find agar agar, you can find it on Amazon. If in doubt, check Amazon. That's your lifesaver there. Because most stores don't carry it. Where would I get it from? I have absolutely no clue, but uh, find a place, please put it in the comments, let me know. Uh, let's see. And oh, by the way, before we even get started, your dish should be the dish that you're gonna put the cheese in should be greased to make it easier to get it out. Okay, and now, oh, and then, this is another thing, I'm gonna add in uh, some lemon juice. Now, lemon juice is really good as a preservative, uh, besides flavor. Uh, 
that's probably good. So that's one half of the lemon. That was a pretty juicy lemon. Keep an eye on this and just let it go for a little while. Next up, so I'm going to take the, uh, this is seven teaspoons of the tapioca starch again. And I'm going to mix this with a quarter cup of cold water. Seven teaspoons of the agar agar. I mean, of the tapioca of the starch, sorry. To one quarter teaspoon, uh, I mean, one quarter cup of the um, cold water. Mix that up. This is another thickener that we're I mean, this is also something to use to fit. Okay. As well as bind. So, won't need that yet until the, um, your, the cheese sauce starts to boil. This is normally done with coconut milk. It is a thicker milk, especially if you use the canned. Uh, coconut cream works best, but it. But I'm trying to do this nut free, and so chia bunny's kind of become my go-to milk because it's also sugar free. So I know there's no lactose added to it. Um, so this is safe for diabetics also. Now we're starting to really boil here. So I'm gonna turn this down a little and we will add in the water, the uh, cornstarch mixture. So. Again, we mixed in a, a, so seven teaspoons of the tapioca starch to a quarter cup of water. This is cold water this time. Okay. So there's that. We're going to let this thicken up a little more. And then when this thickens up enough, I'm going to add it in. I'm going to pour it into the container here that I have. This is just a Tupperware container. I have a lid for it too. Um, if you do use a Tupperware container, you may want to make sure that you're using one um, that it can handle the heat. And B. Um, so tapioca there that can um, I mean that's that you have a lid for because you will need to refrigerate this for about three to five hours till it gets nice and solid before we do anything with it then should this work out like I'm hoping it does I will be using it for a burger mix, which is okay. I'm gonna stop this now and we'll pour it into the dish that we have and get in the fridge. Let's see.
press this out. Once again, this goes in the fridge, fridge for three hours at least. That's the minimum. You want it to get nice and hard. Okay, there's that. If you like the videos, please like, subscribe, share, comment, and thanks for your time.